Hey local leaders, in this short video coaching session, what we're gonna go through is creating a community video, also known as an introductory post. It's a piece of content which you're gonna use, especially on social media, to really introduce who you are and what you're providing to the community. So, what we're gonna cover today is really what you're gonna do. I'm even gonna give you suggestions about what to say so that way you're really filled in uh, about how to really approach this and create this really high quality piece of content that features you, but also talks all about the community and what you're doing. So, what are you gonna do? Number one, you're gonna promote the community. That is the big takeaway that you wanna have from this video. People want to watch it and they want to come away thinking, wow, this person's great. Look at how much focus or emphasis they're putting on on our great community. Number two, you also want to position yourself as someone to know. So in this video, you're going to be highlighting what you're doing, but what you want to also do with the people of your community, that you want to interview them, that you want to feature them on the sites and build stronger relationships to strengthen the community. And then number three is that you want to upload a high quality piece of content that's neighborhood specific. You don't want it to be something that you just sort of shoot out there going, mm, okay, you might want to put a little bit of time into this, um, you know, rather than just a normal sort of Facebook live video, uh, if you really want to make it as high quality as possible. Now what you're going to get from this, you're going to get more exposure and awareness. Okay, with this video, you're going to be showing yourself as an influencer, as an expert, that's not only in the community, but that's very much for the community. You're also gonna be building a resource that you can use, right? Because this post could be used during listing presentations. Not only just saying, hey, I'm all about the community, but showing people this is what I'm all about and this is the type of interaction I had as a result of this video. This is the following that I have here. So use it during listing presentations, highlighting that you truly are community focused and really kind of showing off a little bit. You can also increase your future interviews. More exposure from what you're doing and um, you know, putting yourself out there, it's gonna to build to more awareness and that's gonna to lead to more people being invested in what you are wanting to do in the community because you're being authentic, okay? That's a huge uh, selling point for people. And that's gonna mean more prospecting conversations because the more interviews you do, the more prospecting you can do there because at each interview, you're gonna be prospecting those people. You can be building strong relationships. You're gonna be potentially referring them business and them referring you business, okay? So what are you gonna say? These seven things. Sounds like a lot, but it's really simple, and I'm gonna show you uh, how simple it is on the next slide, but you're gonna talk about who you are, you're gonna talk about what you're doing, the why, you know, that'll make you cry, the why behind your motivations, and why you're approaching this. You're gonna talk about who's it for, right? Businesses, local professionals, and homeowners and you're gonna talk about what is in it for this person. Really put the emphasis on the free PR, okay? But you can talk about a few other areas of the site. So the interview is the main reason why you're doing this for the community, but you can mention that people are gonna be able to showcase deals, local specials, sales, you know, coupons that they wanna offer the community. Rather than getting them sort of pushed down a Facebook page, if it's on a community group, it's gonna be center on the site, very accessible. Okay, and what you can get into then is when it's available for them to do, which is r likely right away, and how they can go about doing it, aka by reaching out to you and booking that into you, and even by just leaving a comment on social media. Now, let's run through what you're going to say. Okay, you're going to introduce this by highlighting yourself. Hey, my name's Matt, and I'm the sponsored ambassador for a new local website for Liberty Village. Now, the site is designed to promote the community to the community, highlighting all the local businesses in the area with features on as many businesses that I can interview as possible, right? As well as talk about the deals, the sales, the specials, the coupons that they're running. Now, what I'm looking to do is, like I said, get out there and interview and feature local businesses, professionals, and even homeowners on the site for free. Okay, now you as the interviewee are going to get free PR from the interview, free advertising. You can even share this content on your own social platforms. But you're also gonna get a business profile in the directory that's gonna be dedicated to your business, highlighting what it's all about. And as I said before, you can add on those sales, coupons, deals, and specials. Now, I'm giving this away for free to people in our community. And a lot of people ask me why I chose to sponsor the site for our community. 
And the reason is, and then this is where you can insert your true motivations. But I find a lot of people when they're articulating this will say something along the lines of, I'm a real estate professional, right? Or I'm a mortgage lender or I'm this role. And I've worked in the area for this long, right? I might've lived here my whole life, but I absolutely love the, the relationships as well as the area itself that I've been able to build. Okay. As that real estate professional, I am talking to service providers and local businesses all the time and seeing if I can refer them business and have them refer me business, right? It's that reciprocal relationship there. Okay. So for me, what I thought would be a really great thing to do instead of just having these pro like conversations with people instead actually use the interview to provide them value first, right? Because I find that, you know, instead of just going for the ask and providing value first, it's just a better way to do business. So what I want from you is to interview you and feature you on the sites, highlighting you to the community, putting you on the site there and develop a relationship because if I can help you expand and grow your business, uh, that'd be fantastic. And if you have any people that are interested in real estate or a specific industry that I'm in, feel free to fire those to me. So that's one way you can go about it, but your motivations are going to really be articulated up to you, right? You've got to think about why you're doing this and put that out there. Now, what you've got to consider, high energy, super important. High energy typically looks like a normal energy on camera. So come in there with 130% energy, all right? You also want to enunciate, slurring words, mumbling, you know, quiet talking. That's all amplified on camera, okay? So make it clear, make it high energy, so that way they can really take that information in. And you also want to have fun. Right? People like to watch videos where people are having fun. So it doesn't have to be you're doing a really extreme activity, but just having energy, big smile on your face, enjoying the process, that's a really, really important thing for this video. Now, depending on if you've done other interviews, other uh, videos, it could be written interviews, you could incorporate other video or photos into this uh, video that you're creating. Okay, shots, images, existing video and really provide evidence as to what you're doing. Because if you've done interviews in the past, you can say, hey, these are all the people I've met. Maybe have like them pop up on the screen. Really depends on what you're wanting to do. But if you haven't done any interviews there, that's fine. You could substitute maybe some images of the area or if you'd rather just have you on camera. That's absolutely fine. You don't have to have any special effects added in. And of course, posture, sit or stand upright. No slouching because that is also amplified on camera. Now, in terms of filming, you want to aim for around three minutes. Four is okay. Short and sweet is really what you're going for. I would maybe steer clear of 30 seconds to a minute. That's a little bit too short. Maybe make it a little bit longer. And when you think about the environment, right, always have that uh, sort of thought process going on is how is the environment going to impact the location of which I'm filming in? Okay, is there a lot of background noise? Is it by the street where there's lots of traffic there? Is it by a whole bunch of birds because we're doing this in the park and there's lots and lots of noise coming from that, right? Think about background noise. Think about where you're going to put the camera, where you're going to be. Think about if there's going to be natural light on your face. You don't want it above, behind, or to the side of you. You want it on your face there, okay? Lots and lots of things you want to think about. And this is what we talk about in a lot of the other coaching sessions, such as interview fundamentals, where we talk about actually how to shoot that interview. If you want to have more information about shooting video, let me know as I have a really good resource that I can share with you. It's a step-by-step -step guide to uh, shooting video content. That's very, very useful as well. But some of those sort of prompts there to remind you to make you think about uh, the environment, how that's going to play a factor into what you're doing. Now, it's great for me to say, hey, you know, do this video, but it might be easier for you to get an idea of how this is going to look, right? If you actually had one to see. So what we're going to use is an example video here, this one right in front of me. I'm going to press play and we'll go through Lisa Hendricks, who is a sponsor out in Washington, Missouri, and this is her video that she created. My name is Lisa Hendricks and I'm the sponsor for a local website here in Washington, Missouri called parkbench.com. You may have seen my face on some of these interviews on Facebook and wondered what the heck is she doing? Well, this site 
actually highlights local businesses and influential people in the community, the people that make us who we are, and it also connects the community in a, in a great way. There's, if you go on the website, you'll notice that there's not only a bunch of interviews that I've done, but there's uh, community events, news that's happening, um, local deals and coupons, uh, you know, of the, of the business, of, that the businesses are offering. There's also um, real estate, if you're, at, if you're looking into that, if you, you're looking to buy or sell and you're interested in that side of things, then you can, you can meet all your needs on, on parkbench.com. for is new businesses and new people to interview and, and, and to highlight them so that people outside our community learn to love them as much as we do. The interview E, if you call them, once they decide to partake in Park Bench, what do they get? Well, they get the exposure and it's free and it doesn't cost them anything. So they get to tell us about their business and then people get to learn who they are as a person and build a relationship with them before they even get in the business or the store or whatever it might be. So that's really cool. question a lot of people ask me is why the heck do I do this I mean I'm busy I'm a real estate agent we don't have any hours so I'm on the go all the time and why would I commit to doing doing these interviews well I think it's so important uh, for me I wasn't born and raised here and I've been here 11 years and have loved it since the minute my feet touched the ground but I, I like building relationships I love meeting people and in building those relationships, build a bit of trust as well, so that maybe down the road, if these people are looking for uh, real estate or they know someone who's looking for real estate, they'll think of Lisa Hendrick. What I want from you is, you know, Let's get some more interviews out there. Let's meet more people. So if you know people or you're thinking, geez, this would be great for so-and-so or so-and-so, then have them go to the site. There's a request an interview button on the site. They can push that, put in their information, and I'll contact them right away. Or they can just contact me directly. And this is Lisa Hendricks and Gotta Love Washington. Cool. So that was Lisa's uh, video that she created for her community that she's used there. And this is just to give you some ideas about what you could do. Okay. It's a three, four minute uh, little video there. You could put in little screenshots like we've got here, or you could put in really whatever content you want, or it could just be really simple and have you there. It's just give you some, giving you some tangible evidence of what this can look like. Now, if you are needing assistance with learning about how to use video editing, you know, if that's gonna be something that's important for you, I have tutorials on iMovie, which is a Mac specific and also free platform. Uh, it's really, really good. It does everything you need to. And I also do tutorials on Filmora. This is for PC and Mac. So you can actually find those in the coaching schedule if you wanna join them live. Otherwise, I can always send you through recordings of these sessions. And they're gonna cover things like cropping, transitions, adding images and videos, titles, all that good stuff. Everything you're gonna to need to be able to do. And the benefit of that is that you can always reach out to me if you have any questions about those platforms and I'll often actually create a short little video for you to teach you about how to overcome whatever challenge or question you have. Now, I mentioned that Mac has a free platform called iMovie. PC does not have the same free equivalent. So if you're wanting to look at options available to you, just a quick Google search, or you could invest in a flat, uh, platform like Filmora 9. Now, Filmora 9 is what I use, so it's very, very helpful having someone that can assist you with that, that's not you know, very, very far away that you won't be able to get a hold of. Um, 
And in addition to that, it's a very comprehensive editor. Now it costs about $60 US as a one-time fee. So once you pay for it, you've got it. I think it's a really good resource. Uh, but if you're wanting to learn more about that before you were to say invest in it, make sure to check out my tutorial because to see if it's going to be for you. Okay. Now, the other thing is that if you ever need Parkbench logos to put on this video, if you're wanting to do that, feel free to let us know. We have PNG files, which are these ones here. They have a transparent background, so you can put them over whatever you need. They're not going to have some crazy box behind it, and it's going to look a little bit out of place. No, it's going to have that transparent background. So support at parkbench.com can send that through to you, and we have both the U as well as without the U spelling for neighborhood. And the last thing here is promotion. You want to post it organically, right? Sending it to these platforms. Ideally, you want to link it from parkbench.com because that is going to be a key redirect for them to get a taster of what you're doing, especially if you've done interviews already. Okay, but put them on your business and personal platforms there as well as community groups. Now, community groups are a great resource for you to put this content onto. And the rationale behind that is it's all dedicated around a specific geographic location, say it's the Liberty Village Facebook group and it's all the residents there or a lot of them at least, right? And you can share this, in, uh, this video in there and people can be thinking, hey, cool, this is going to be great for my business. It's very accessible, okay? Now, there are other groups that you could share this into. It could be something on LinkedIn, you know, a professional group that you're wanting to share that interview, oh, sorry, that video into you into. That can be very, very helpful as well because it's B2B, basically. You are connecting with other business owners. Now, if you want to learn more about how you can promote these and you want to get into detail on that, feel free to let me know. I'll be more than happy to unpack that a little bit further. But these are the key takeaways. Have high energy. Talk about the site, what you're wanting to do with um, people via the interview process and how that's all free. You know, make yourself look good and then get it up there. Right? Put it onto the, um, your site and your social platforms as soon as you can and then engage with the comments. Now, if you have a community group already, you know, a few hundred people or a few thousand people, this video is perfect for it. So make sure to share that there and feel free to do an updated one, maybe in the next three months or six months or 12 months, right? As you're wanting to get more and more interviews. Okay. Really, really good resource. You just got to make sure you're activating uh, these community pages and starting to use them for your business. Cool. So that's about it for me. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or any member of the team here if you want more information. Uh, otherwise, I'm really looking forward to seeing some of these videos that you're going to be creating. All right. Thanks for your time.